Pass some beer, man. Yeah, there you go. Uh, ain't that G-Man standing in the corner right there? That nigga been there for like four, past four or five days. On that same goddamn spot, singing that same motherfucker, though. Yeah. He ain't even been home yet. Uh, <laughs> nigga, draws probably dirty than the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Corn rolls looking flicked. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga forces leaning to the left and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Black forces, then you know it. <laughs> 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 Hello, another episode of uh, Cute Dog Locked in the Hot Car. I am uh, Jamal, and guess what I've decided to do? Uh, veer away from my normal Bill Burr style endless rant, and bring on my first guest. Uh, his name is Brian. Oh, I got to talk now? Oh, Introduce stop. yourself, Brian. Oh. <laughs> Introduce uh, yourself. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> Stand up, you know, tell something about yourself. Oh, what's up, man? What's up? Oh, my name is Brian Johnson. What are, what do you what do you uh introduce yourself as? Do you do you do you do a Hollywood thing and just introduce yourself as something you wish you were? Oh, it'd be like, oh, my name is Brian, and I'm an aspiring filmmaker. No, like no, that, no. They'll just no? be like, not even aspiring. They'll just be like, my name is Brian, I'm a filmmaker. Oh. <laughs> and then you're just like, nigga, <laughs> nigga, you work at the goddamn... <laughs> I know where you work, you know? Like, nigga, you smell like french fries. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> like, So that's what I'm saying. What what are you? Are you a... Uh, what are you? Uh, a filmmaker, man. Uh-huh. You know? Okay, so you do do that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nice. Do that. But then, like, I don't, like introduce myself like that like hey what's up i'm a filmmaker i'm a filmmaker what's up <laughs> i know i don't yeah. think i'm a writer all the cool people don't introduce themselves as anything no they just introduce themselves as their fucking name that their yeah. mama gave them facts uh, but you know what i'm saying but nah me and brian used to do a pod back in the day all you have to do is go on my youtube channel and scroll backwards oh it was a good pod it was a good pod uh oh. So I, it was only right that I have you on to the next yeah. uh, adventure. You know, listening to the Joe Budden podcast made me think, you stole a lot from Joe Budden podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I did not steal, I did not steal <laughs> shit from the <laughs> nigga. I actually, honestly, 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 that's exactly what I was just telling you. All right, remember mm-hmm. I was just telling you before we started filming about, um, about the kids that I like halfway manage in yeah. Carolina yeah, yeah. and they, they, uh, and I tell them, I'm like, get applies feature. And they're like, True. they kind of look at me like it's cliche. I tell them to get a 21 Savage feature. Well, you're not getting a 21 Savage feature. Get a Young Nudie feature type yeah. shit, right? And, and that's what I'm saying uh, about what we did is like, I was kind of just up on some shit that we were supposed to be doing, like writing down subjects yeah. and, and like, uh, fig- you know, and then no, we were yeah. doing it. And anybody who wanted to, I hate to use this term, but, <laughs> you know, take it to the next level. <laughs> have, to be, to next, have to be take doing those. Take this to the next you know? level. Right? Yeah, yeah, like you can't. And this guy's right. You got to do all. He's pretty much right. And honestly, I remember back when we did the pod, that was one pod that you hated that you were like, on the why you watch them? I'm watching why you watch them niggas. Them niggas be ah. No, <laughs> they no, told no. Me they said rock, boom, bap. <laughs> no, no, I was, I was never about that with the <laughs> podcast. I just was like, eh, I don't want to. Like I was like, yeah, they're still old and they're still just as old and like you're still a hater. Like no, you know? no, no. At first I was like, I, 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 I was like, I, don't, I was like, I was like, I really don't want to. I, don't, I really don't want to listen to Joe Budden talk. But then I'm like, this nigga makes 
sense. But then like, when he stopped, yeah, yeah, when he stopped, he like, yeah, when he stopped thinking, when I stopped thinking, like, oh, verse is coming, yeah, you know, like, oh, he's about to go, uh, you know, we be like, up in the club, I was like, like yeah. god damn, I don't want to hear a fucking yeah, slaughterhouse like, verse, bro. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, but, but like, when there's no verse, it's like actually, actually, he's just. He's just snitching on everybody, like the, the, you know. He's just like a snitch. Like he's like a he. Honestly, l- listening to Joe Buttons made me stop listening to academics because mm-hmm. uh, the academics don't know what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like you can yeah, tell. Yeah. Like, but honestly, you can tell that he's does. He's never even like like he says like been outside like at, <laughs> yeah. a, at a event never or been something. Outside. Okay, yeah. Like, okay. He's never been to an event. Where speaking about would be that. Like, speaking about that guy, like. So you know I was at uh, I like, was I was at Flognaw this past weekend, right? Okay. okay. Camp Flognaw. How was that? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> he said blah blah. Uh, I was hurt. puked everywhere. Yeah, puked everywhere. No, but uh, it was it was fun. It, okay. was, it was really fun. It was it was a great it was a great show. But um, as we all know, Drake Drake came out and uh, he got yeah. Blue. What? Okay. Okay. Wait. 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 Now, Joe Budden style. Can we just wait? Can we get to that? Okay. Can we? Uh, can you tell me about all like right, right, yeah, who yeah, yeah. who was there and who should have been there? Like who was the standout? Like uh, um, I heard Shoreline was why I wanted to be there. For, okay, I heard Shoreline okay. came out. Shoreline. Okay, YG brought out Shoreline Mafia. Okay. Oh, so they, like, weren't, they weren't. They weren't on the weren't, bill. They weren't on the bill. Oh what? They weren't I'm, not, I'm not buying that ticket. You know what I'm saying? They can't buy no bill. ticket. Can't uh, buy no ticket in the summer without no goddamn <laughs> OGs. Y'all bullshit. Nigga ain't the goddamn summer. Nigga is the it, goddamn you're right. winter. You're right. <laughs> so, well, I, I mean, when I say summer. I just mean like a thing, no, yeah. you know, like uh, like how uh, like how uh, England people say holiday <laughs> on holiday. Know? Yeah, like yeah. I don't know. No, but I feel you show my mafia should have been on that. On that Damn, fucking. Damn, I bet thing, they bro. came out and sent some money around. Man, some money came, dance, some dick came, came out. out some Thirty and musty and shit, bro. Oh. That shit, Juke, she got it. Damn, Often, bro. But I feel to hear those guys. They're but great. I, I feel the uh, for me the standout was uh, Thundercat. Oh well, Thundercat's always the standout. Yeah, Thundercat. Like, that's not a. That's not even a. Was Flying Lotus there? Mm-mm. No. Okay, that makes sense. No, no, no. Thundercat was good. Um, IDK killed. What it. songs does he have? What songs does IDK have? Like just rap continuously, beat, <laughs> and like beat changes halfway through. <laughs> I mean, no, he's great. No, no, but, no, no yeah, no, he's a good rapper. I mean. But I mean, it's just it sounds like that. You know who? You know who? You know who? Oh, he like. Hey, let me hate really. Was JPEG Mafia there? No. Okay. He's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me uh, just hate right quick. Cool. Because uh, I'm not really, I don't know, man. JPEG Mafia reminds me of like niggas who would like, like, all right, when I was a little kid, like, it was like we couldn't, I didn't play like with all the X-Men kids because they were richer and they had like a lot of toys, mm-hmm. but I could play with like the wrestler kids, right? Right. The kids who had wrestlers a lot, but because like, I don't know why. Just because, like, some of them were cool with me. Because I feel... But it, it seemed like they were bigger dicks. Like, like they would be like, no, like, don't... The... And the X-Men Pink, kids or the wrestling kids? The wrestling kids. Like, the wrestling more kids... dicks or, or cooler because... This, let me explain it because there's a nuance to it, okay? Right. So it's like this. It's like, the, the X-Men kids were like, we know more and stuff, right? But as long as you got a bunch of them, you can hang with us, right? Right. And then the, the wrestler kids were like... You just can't hang with us unless you were actually like Stone Cold Steve Austin, you know. Like unless you're like, unless you're like us, you know. Then mm-hmm. you ain't even you. You're not even allowed to like wrestling. Is kind of how it was, you know. I'm from South Carolina, so it was kind of yeah. like JPEG reminds me of like one of the black kids over there. Just be like, what the fuck you got? You got a sting? Right. Why yeah. the fuck you want to play with us? And we're like, why? I'm like, why are you saying fuck so much? We're in the second grade, you know. Like, <laughs> Like you ever meet those oh, kids where you're like, yeah. whoa, this kid says fuck a lot for yeah, a child. Like, we're like, where's your parents at? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, oh, speaking of that, like real quick, I saw um, Good Boys last night. What's Good Boys? Uh, it was it was like the Seth Rogen movie. That, oh, like, oh yeah, I actually those. saw that. I saw that. That shit was fucking hilarious. What happened? I saw it like on a screener, like a like a couple like a while like a couple months ago. What what happened on it? What yeah. happened? Like. Oh, the fat black kid was like a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. And then the, he was like, I think he was like the pussy one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the, um, 
there was like one kid who was like gonna get some, and then they were like not trying to cock block him the whole time. <laughs> yeah, those like, good friends. Why are you doing that? Yeah, <laughs> he was like, uh, cause man, he was like, he like comb his hair over and like uh, flip his collar up. Yeah, I remember oh, that shit. Uh, yeah, good nah. boys. It was all right, man. Nah. Seth Rogen. You know what my favorite Seth Rogen is movie is Which one? Sleeperly or Secretly the End. This is the end. This is the end. <laughs> I, I like it because like I uh, feel Michael asleep, Sarah's like, a dick through a, yeah. <laughs> and like you know Rihanna's getting in it and shit. Yeah, that's really cool. This is the end. Oh, I might need to. Uh, might want to close that window. Mm. I mean, in a minute. Yeah, <laughs> in a minute <laughs> after we uh, end uh, uh, um. Yeah, uh, what you been doing? Do you what other podcasts you been listening? to? You ever listen to uh, Joe Rogan's? Uh, when I get a chance, I listen to Donald Rollins today on Joe Rogan. Oh shit! Oh, um, though. Oh, and guess what? I found out what Donald Rollins is making a podcast produced by Joe Rogan. Oh shit! <laughs> Joe Rogan's is like or Donald's like I recorded one. I don't know where to put it. Joe Rogan's like, oh, we'll help you. We got you. <laughs> we got you. Yeah. He's like, uh, we might want to. They, they were like talking about starting a channel, and he was like, nah, fuck that. I'll just help you. <laughs> and, then he was like, and I was like, hell yeah, dude. Donald Rollins is one person who needs a fucking no, pod. Uh, and he's doing it uh, my, like me and Bill Burr, which is just him talking to a, <laughs> talking to the mic, crazy style. Fuck okay, yeah. And then one more thing about Donald Rollins, because, you know, we're on the subject. Mm. It's just not me rant. It's not me just endlessly ranting about mm-hmm. Donald Rollins. If you guys don't know who Donald Don Rollins is. It's Ashley Larry. Ashley Larry, exactly. <laughs> Wait, we both agree. Yeah, we both yeah, right to Ashley Larry. Larry. Like, <laughs> what you thought? It was not Ashley Larry? It was uh, Moisturized Larry? <laughs> or Moisturized Lawrence? Oh, shit. No. You think moisture? Never mind. Um, <laughs> Ashley Larry is, uh, I mean, it just what I was going to say, was he Lawrence from... Um, from insecurity, but it was just not. It was just like, yeah, not, that's not funny. Yeah, it's uh, not even like, cute. Yeah. Um, but the point is, uh, yeah, he said he was good. It's first time he did stand up. He said he was a star immediately. I was like, I True. believe it. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. True. The way you tell you, he's like, ah, motherfucker. And, you know, he just like mm-hmm. says things loud, and you're just like, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll tell you, he was a star off, off of stand up offline. Offline. Yeah, when we're not recording. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know what? I'll tell you. I'll tell you my password to my computer in twenty minutes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, fine. Um, <laughs> I don't know. How you oh, been, buddy? Uh, I've been straight, man. Just you know, working and shit, bro. You know. Oh. You're a filmmaker? Yeah, <laughs> Full-time you know, filmmaking? Full-time you know? filmmaker, you get what I'm saying? You know, Joker 2, <clears throat> next summer, <laughs> drop yeah, it. Yeah, you know, mixtape coming out soon, you know? Hmm. Nah, I'm fucking giant. I ain't got mixtape coming out. <laughs> That's funny, though. I forgot to ask you, why, or yeah, why, why did people watch The Joker? <laughs> like, uh. I didn't, like, I already know what happens. Or, you know, I already know, I already, you know, get it. Right. Like the joke, what the Joker's gonna do? Yeah. Like why I didn't get why everybody went crazy to watch it, and I didn't want to seem like a just uh, <clears throat> contrarian and go on the internet a lot about it. Right. But I I want to ask you now on the internet. On the internet, why? <laughs> yeah. Why did everyone love love the Joker? Yeah. I just felt because it was like, because everyone. But did you like, see it? Yeah, I saw okay. it. Okay. I saw it. Did you love it? Um, uh, I didn't. I didn't like it, but I loved it. If that makes sense. Yeah, that makes total sense. Yeah. Was it like a movie that lived off the cinematography? Or was it the movie that lived off the twist at the end? Uh, the, the story. The story, okay. The story of it, yeah. So like the yeah. whole story or like the twist? The whole story. Okay, okay. The whole story just like, of just like <laughs> how he became like who he is basically, you know. But I, feel I don't like, know. Yeah, I don't like, know. I don't know why that's intriguing <clears throat> to me felt, because I already know. Like, you get it? I felt like I love. Oh, I spoke a little bit. I feel like the story as like as like you know, my name's Brian. I'm a filmmaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But, <laughs> but it was like it was written really good, mm-hmm. and the story was really good. It was written really good. Yeah. Uh, let me guess what happens. Right. People were mean to him, and then he got revenge on everybody. <laughs> yeah. No, he didn't get revenge on like everybody. You know what I'm saying? But, See, but why can I guess what happened? <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 it was just, it's just, you know how like, how like, okay, so you know how like last year drinking water was like the big thing, like, oh, drink water, drink water. 
like how how this year is like it's, it's mental health. <laughs> this year is mental health. Yeah. Well, okay, okay. You, you I know guess. what I mean? Like you're right. It is near the end of the year. It yeah. has gone a good ten months with it. Like yeah, yeah. Like everyone's oh, you know, think you're mental health, think you're mental health. This so this movie's pretty much about like mental health and shit like that. So it's just perfectly timed. Yeah. Hey, bro. You know what? You want to hear about my business that I'm gonna make? It doesn't matter if everybody on the fucking internet hears it because. They're just not going to make it right. uh, as fast as I do. I'm, I'm going to make it um, really fast. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or like in the next three weeks or something. Um, you ready for this? Yeah. It's uh, This is an announcement. Here we go. Uh, hit the table. Um, Cornbolio. What are you talking about? It? Cornbolio? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to, uh, but I'm going to take Beavis and I'm going to uh, make him black. And put them and make them cornholio <laughs> as yeah. black and make t shirts out of it too. Fuck yeah. And it's gonna be delicious corn elote bowls. That's good marketing. Good mm-hmm. marketing. And it's not called loaded corn, white people. Have you, uh, what? Have you seen that shit? They've been calling it loaded They've corn. Been loaded corns. Like, I forgot where it's right, I gotta make sure. Okay, that's what I'm gonna write then. I'm gonna make sure. Yeah. I'm gonna write cornbolio elote bowls mm-hmm. so that niggas know this is that delicious. Yeah. This is that gas. Yeah, yeah. no. I'm like, because, like, I, I seen that I got shit. this. No, I got this recipe, recipe from um, a dude who is like, he helped start like three restaurants in yeah. the um, shit. I mean, it's just a simple recipe yeah. of like how to put corn together. Mm-hmm. But he was like, no, just these couple ingredients. Do it like this, easy. And I was like, "Thank you. I'll, mm. I, you know, you get a free one for life." <laughs> but he was a Mexican man, you know, right, and yeah. everything. Like it's not. This ain't no. You know, I want to make sure everybody knows I got this from the source. This ain't right. From no fucking right. Got the shit straight from the plug. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so like, really I'm soon sorry. I'm gonna do that because. Oh, I'm sorry. I just yeah. it's habitual. Nah, I don't but, <laughs> speaking of speaking of the plug, El Chapo, <laughs> El Chapo son. What about the Chapo's wife? I saw she was on reality TV. Oh, you see that? So she might be <laughs> okay. So like she might be on this show. Yeah, the well, Chapo's son is fine. <laughs> you know? oh, oh, yeah, yeah he's he's a yeah, one. Yeah, yeah bro. they took rocket launchers to, <laughs> yeah, to the police. These yeah, they niggas, like, these these niggas turned the streets of Mexico to Call of Duty, bro. <laughs> they really did. The best stages. Thank you for the sequels, guys. <laughs> Thank you for the delicious. Sequel. Yeah, but um, so like it's this show on VH1. It's kind of like a. a love a hip hop type show but mm-hmm. it's like with like cartel <coughs> kids basically yeah and like and like, that's weird because isn't that like snitching no <laughs> like you know like what if, if they, they if, didn't do it if so. we know who the cartel kids are yeah is it only for niggas who got caught like cause like what about the cartel still going like their kids are just doing reality TV while they much just... I mean <laughs> like isn't that bad laundering like mean? you know like or isn't that like evidence well, that, yeah, like, well not that, like, like okay evidence? okay well, and I'm doing quotation marks here. Uh, pretty much like majority of those of, of of like the kids, like their parents are either passed or or in jail. So like yeah, that's not, what I'm saying. So it's yeah. the niggas who got caught and the niggas. Yeah, yeah like it's not like yeah, yeah. it's not like it's not like yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's not like it, it's not like niggas still active in the, <laughs> in, in the cartel. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Air quotes. <laughs> Just you know, you would never know, bro. Yeah, yeah. everybody's act. What you mean? That, yeah, that's active, are you kidding? Bro. Yeah. Bro, that's crazy. Uh, but you know what I have been. You know what I do do. Uh, we're playing. We're talking about just whatever right now, obviously. Yeah. But what I do make a point of, and I say it a bunch on this podcast, is I don't want to be very topical anymore. Right. Because now we let Joe Budden have the lane. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. It's like we could just be like, hey, come on. I mean, he's old and he sucks. You know, he's 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 who he is, man. He at least he's true to his his own shit. You know, yeah. or whatever. But what I'm saying is that's that lane is already. It's not. It's not available anymore. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, so basically, let's still do it anyway. Right. Like let's just let's just do it. Let's just talk about topical things anyway. Because yeah. uh, because basically that's all we ever talk about really. So I guess we should just really talk, and then yeah. it'll end up being extremely topical anyway. Because I want to ask you about Ti, uh-huh. and I don't want to ask you about Ti. I, I want to <laughs> bait you and then tell you about <laughs> how I feel about Ti, but. Uh, First, I said I selfishly set this up by, like I said, asking you about Ti. Uh-huh. What do you think about Ti? Oh man, 
He needs to. Uh, yeah, he needs to. He needs to get the <laughs> fuck, bro. Right? Yeah. Like, golly, yeah. man. Like this nigga. Just, he's making. As soon as he got a podcast, this nigga went over. As soon as the nigga got a. Fu- as soon as the nigga found Macy's, he fucking <laughs> he started wearing fucking golf socks and acting like he was fucking uh like he went to college. It's like well, who acts like they went to college? Like who yeah. a perp- who like literally fraud like uh stolen valor from college t- students <laughs> is Ti um. Oh, no, I, just, I love, I love, no, I don't love, I don't think I ever did like T.I. because of Gucci Mane. I've always had a, a strict yeah. loyalty to Gucci Mane, right. and he's always said, Clifford Harris, bitch. <laughs> and uh, I didn't say it, that's what right. Gucci Mane said, yeah, uh, just okay. so you know, Mr. Clifford. Uh, um, <laughs> okay, I was never like the biggest T.I. fan. I liked his songs on Need for Speed, or was it, um, <laughs> this nigga said, oh, or, was it or was it, or was it, or was it uh, Midnight Club? <laughs> Which like, one? He did no no. Don't get me wrong. He no, had it was a it, it was. You know I think what Ti? No, you know what Ti did? You know what Ti did? That was perfect. Honestly, Ti has a perfect song. Right. It's called "What You Know About That." That is my favorite Ti it, song. It's a perfect song. Yeah. yeah. Like so. Let me let me go ahead and give him. His, let me give him some roses. Yeah. Uh, uh, hit the cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. You know, hit the cheers drop because. Uh, honestly, he did, that's a perfect song. It is. As far it as really all the is. rest of his songs, there. You know, a lot, whole lot of sevens, but at the yeah, same time, like, um, well, like, Rubber Band Man was a slapper. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it, it was, was a, a big, song. it was a good nine. Yeah, it was a good nine. Twenty like, fours. Twenty fours is a nine and a half. I love twenty fours yeah. actually, but but what you know is is it's, ten, it's is it's a ten. T- ten out of ten. Yeah, sure. it really is. Like, only, sure. you know, but but Young Dro has more tens than than Ti, yeah. and he has way less music. Uh, Young Dro has shoulder lean. Shoulder lean. Uh, okay. Hear me say it, crying. It's like, mm, mm, mm. Young Dro has got some. His whole album okay. sounds like Lean on Me. <laughs> like, it feels like Lean on Me, the movie. Okay. <laughs> Who got niggas to wear polo more? Everybody knows this. Don't, are you just asking this question because it's like for recording? Dro <laughs> or Kanye? Everybody knows the answer to that. <laughs> 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 That's what I'm saying. Are you because asking, you're just asking for because, the recording. Well, what do you say? Because I might have a different answer. I mean, your answer is wrong if if you have a different answer. What's <laughs> because like I know niggas. And no, I know no, no, them. no, right? Like, uh, yeah, like it, it, like okay. Uh, thing is, the thing is, when I was young, certain black dudes even wore like girl pants. But they were skating ass dudes. They like mm-hmm. pressed their hair and shit, right? Yeah. And the thing is, yeah, certain people just do what like they want, kids. right? Yeah. 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 But the thing about when something becomes cool mm-hmm. is when let's just the people who are now Cardi B fans. Yeah. You know those people when they it's, like it, that's when it becomes literally cool, it's like, like actually cool. It's like the whole with the whole anime wave right now. <clears throat> oh, I, I didn't know all these niggas like anime back in high school. No, exactly. <laughs> but exactly. now all these niggas is anime fans. Exactly. But the thing is, I think of a person who says, hey, I, I wear polos because of Kanye. They're like a real anime fan. They were like, hey, yeah. I'm really out there. I was going to really do that. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, no. That's not even how. No, that's not like that's that's not that's not the anime wave. The anime wave is now. You get what I'm saying? It wasn't. It wasn't when I was watching Dragon Ball Z back yeah. in the day. It was. It's when the kids. It's like when we become thirty and shit, and then all these other people, you know, like are. It's all appropriated and, and sold out and shit, right? Sure. That's what Young Dro. Young Dro, and it doesn't make sense. This doesn't make any sense, but it does. Right. Because. At the time, Kanye was a backpack rapper, right? So Young Dro was a commercial rapper. You get what I'm saying? Like Young Dro and so- Shoulder Lean comes out, and everybody wants to be, it, everybody wants to wear plaid pants with the polo. You know, right. that was like with the forces. That was like the f- outfit. That was you a know? fit. Yeah, yeah, like that was like the that was like everybody thought they invented it. It was like, <laughs> sure. it was like oh my, mine are green. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. wear some green. I'm wearing the blue ones. Look at the blue pants, you know, or something. It's like nigga, you yeah. guys are just wearing black pants with polos, <laughs> and uh, and some of you are wearing higher socks, and some of you have your socks tucked in and stuff. You know, everybody's yeah. sweat swagging their own way. Some people tuck their shirts in, whatever, whatever. They all think they're doing something, right. but 
It all just the point back. is, that all comes from Young Dro, baby, yeah. because it all comes from having like a fresh hairline. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Young Dro made things cool the same way like Mace made things cool, like for the cool kids. You know, yeah, like yeah. Mace was not like everybody. I don't know. It's because y'all aren't going to get it because uh, you're going to think I'm. I'm either going to sound old or like young people are going to think I'm crazy. Like, you know, right. like, why would fucking Kanye not have done it because he's bigger and stuff? But it's clearly it was Young no. Dro. No, yeah, yeah. I was, and then I would. By the time the Top Back remake <coughs> came out mm-hmm. that summer, yeah, it was nobody was dressing like Jeezy anymore. Like nobody was wearing as mm-hmm. many um, red monkey jeans. Like yeah. nobody was wearing red monkey jeans and that season. Jeans it like was that. polo only. Yeah. yeah, it was just okay. polo down. But see, okay, so like back to the question that like why why I asked that is because I was gonna say the answer is also a regional thing. You know what I'm saying? Because listen, 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 listen. You're from the south, bro, and like, and then you know, you know, just from the south, out here in LA, niggas, niggas really wasn't on like that young Joel rave. Mm-hmm. And then, and then, like back to what you said was like the kids who listen to like anime and like Lupe Fiasco fans. Yeah, they were polo because because Kanye did. Okay. You know what okay. I'm and that was that was. That was when <clears throat> Shoulder Lean was out. Because you were yeah. aware of Shoulder Lean, were you? Or no? Is that weird? Is What's that a it? weird question to ask? What's it? Were you aware of Shoulder yeah. Lean by yeah, Young yeah. Dro? Yeah, yeah. That so. Was. It was. Like you said, Dro was a commercial rapper. So, like, even we got that on the radio out here. You guys probably maybe had, like, mixtape days and shit like that. But we had it on. So, every. Okay. I mean, <clears throat> this, this. Well, it does. It, 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 it is. It is. Medium le- medium mediums wave disappointing, but I can still explain it. Like basically okay, basically what I'm trying to say is it may have it may have only been them at that time and mm-hmm. it may have never been cool and shit. Right. But the thing is the wave of it being cool yeah. <laughs> like it it went to New York and it went it, it it eventually got made its way west uh west because i know it got to texas and shit you yeah. know they used to begin wearing polos and shit with all their ices and shit and um and i just know and that what i'm saying is i know that if it ever swept which i can't guarantee it did sweep at all maybe mm-hmm. it swept 5 years later maybe it never swept at all yeah. but if it did sweep it was because it was it and you may and what i'm saying is that it's okay if nobody knew you get what i'm saying like right. i think nobody knew but i do think it was because of young Dro. you get what i'm saying like mm-hmm. people would be like oh nobody knows this is just how we're dressing now cuz you know I don't know. It's just the cool thing. I saw a dude from the south at 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 uh, All Star Weekend. You know, he's polo dad. Look, this was fresh. You know what I'm saying? It was right, like a yeah. thing. And that all. What I'm saying is that whole thing. It's like the way Dapper Dan influenced everybody. That's what I mean about Young Dro. Right. Everybody's not like, oh, I'm gonna go dress exactly like him. But they're like, you know, oh, yeah. now this is the thing we have to wear. Yeah. It wasn't like no. it wasn't like everybody's like, hey, do you have your Young Dro album to match your <laughs> match your shorts? <laughs> no, <laughs> like, no, no, no. I, you know. I feel that way about like when like snapback hats were like a big thing, right? Me and my little brother, we started wearing snapback hats because the cool kids wore snapback hats. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying. I and think then, everybody did. Actually. No, 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 no. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, everyone started wearing snapback hats because Tyga started wearing snapback hats. Well, actually, that's funny because my friend. Uh, Nick in South Carolina, he mm-hmm. has the same story as that. Right. You know, he's yeah. he said that story to me before. He's like, I started wearing them because of the cool kids, yeah. and everybody, and then Tiger started wearing them and made them corny. That's yeah, what he said. exactly. <laughs> you know, he was like, uh, Tigers and shit, we made it cheesy, and I was yeah. like, uh, okay. But <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, that's we- that's really just really weird that you guys made the same uh, yeah. the same. Like story, or you know what I'm saying? No, yeah, I had to say like similar story. You know? Yeah, I don't. Uh, what, what do you? What, what would you? Say? Uh, hmm. I think the cool kids did it. Like I think the cool kids brought it back. Like yeah, the way that they made a funky song that everybody could listen to, and then when you check out the video, it made it reminded you of your childhood. Right. That was yeah. like uh, <laughs> that was like it wasn't hacky yet because they did it first. Right. But it, yeah. it became hacky and they killed it though, yeah. first. So hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they, so I don't know who else did. I mean, if you say Tiger did, I'm saying yeah. I guess that would, that would be my argument is that yeah. If you say Tiger influenced the nation, he didn't. The whole nation was really uh, 
Because I didn't wear, yeah, I didn't wear hats at that time. I had a weird uh, voodoo <laughs> about hats. Uh, now I wear hats. All right. All right you, got the, you got the flying hat, you know, fly ass hats and shit. I say flying hat. <laughs> <laughs> you got the fly ass hats, like, like your, um, your fucking boring company hat is, is dope as shit. Yeah, we, they can't see any. Well, hats, I know so. they can't see <laughs> yeah, hats, but, you know. I know, but yeah, I'm like, I, I mean, don't know. My man's out here with the, the hat gang, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I mean, none. Hey, man, I mean, I some hats up I here. mean, he he from Hat Gang, but you know. Just... Is Hat Gang a thing? Yeah. Oh yeah. shit! I'm not from that. Yeah, yeah. That's a, uh, that's a gang. Oh, yeah, shit. bro. That's crazy. That's like that's like one of the most like watched gangs in Watts. Oh shit, man! Yeah. L. A. is fucking assholes. You can't say <laughs> anything in L. A. Like you're like, hey man, does anybody have any yeah. lotion? Oh, you say, you say you with lotions? Right, you from, you, you <laughs> you from lotions? lotions? It's like what? <laughs> you from what? <laughs> I ain't from lotions, nigga. Right. Just wanna uh, get my my. In there, between my pinky yeah. and my ring. Nah, it was crazy because like when I uh, when like I didn't live in, in LA at, at some times, it's just like people like didn't understand that the fact that like you can't wear certain baseball ca- hats in different places and shit. That's crazy. <laughs> and I'm why? Like, and Man, like, I don't understand why. Like I've never understood. I've been here like a long ass time now, and I never understood why the fuck people go. Certain places, <laughs> like you know, Yo, like, real shit. why would you even go? Real <laughs> like, shit. like, what is there? But like, but then also, it's like, like you just got to be like born and raised from LA and like no, Brian. No, you don't. Yeah, All you, you gotta do. do is not go past uh, fucking <laughs> Pico? The, those streets. Like you, you can tell what street to not go past. You're like, oh, it doesn't feel right. I'm turning feel. around. No, I'm not. This this is getting mm-mm. over there. <laughs> it just looks different. I can see the scenery. Like the buildings aren't as big. There's people. There's more. Way more people walking right there. <laughs> I'm gonna turn my car around and stay over here where I see these mm. taco places and but white then, people walking around. But, and then, shit. Like, at the, but then at the same time, it's kind of hard to tell because <clears throat> everywhere in LA is a suburb. You know what I'm I, saying? Like like. We, if you think about it, like we don't have that much like what is a suburb? Yeah, public what housing. Mean? You get what I'm saying? Like we don't have like projects like that, like how other people have projects. What does project? I don't know what that you know means. What I mean? Yeah, I don't understand it. PJs. I mean, I get <laughs> PJ. I mean, I get it. It's a, a harsh living, but I don't no, no, understand. no. It's definitely, but but at the same time, I don't it's understand. Like, like how they don't have that. They have shitty buildings all around. That counts. But I mean, that's what, I feel like that's where everywhere has just shitty places near nice but places. But then, what I mean, like projects and shit. Like, I mean, like, like you know, like projects and shit. Like, yeah, exactly. But it's just like you can go down. Okay, let's say you wanna go down in like the sixties area, sixties hood. Even even forty. But, no, like, but that's the thing. It's, it's like, like there's nothing there. There's, there's nothing there. But at the same time, and I mean, like the you know, beneficial. still look good. It don't look all. All dilapidated and shit like how some no. other people's places. No. Look. I'm not that? saying it look it would look dilapidated. I'm just saying <clears throat> people would look at you like, "Hey, what the fuck are you doing here?" And then I'll be like, "Oh yeah, no, what the yeah. fuck am I doing here? Let me roll out." Yeah, yeah, but that, but then, but then, <laughs> right, the, I'm but then, out. but then, what I'm saying is back to my point is that like when you fucking grow up here, you already are instilled. Yeah, like you grew up in one of the hitties. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like. You, you grow up knowing, oh, we don't go over there because oh, yeah. they over there. They over there. They over there. But it's just like, but then you out of town people, that's how you guys find out by being getting lost. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, Which, yeah, exactly. And like, and like that's you know how me. you guys learn. You get yeah, what I'm saying? but you know me. I'm never yeah. getting lost. Like, <laughs> the fuck? I get, I get, I guess I get the, uh, which statement you're making it makes yeah. total sense. But like I said, you know me, I've been here a long no, time. Yeah. Never got lost. No reason. Like, no, no reason. Exactly. Like, what am I, what do I need? For, what am I, what am I buying over there? Oh, like, he was like to be with white folks. It's huh? all good. Admit many Like, eh. with white folks. It's not about the. It's, I like to be. Uh, I like to be in friendly. You know, like I just like to be in the fucking just chill. You know, like nah. But I'm fuck. We're downtown. Like I, I live like right. I can't. I guess I shouldn't say the area, but I already said it. By Simple Center, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like downtown. Yeah. So it's like you know, niggas is out. Yeah. This, is, you know, it's out. They out here. They out know? here. Yeah. Right around the corner, baby. <laughs> so every basically the point is you could get fucked up you, like sketchy shit could happen anywhere sketchy shit true true sketchy shit yeah. let's see let's see what I did I did write something let's see. don't tell nobody oh 
I'm not gonna tell anybody that you had a docket. <laughs> no, I ain't got no docket. Hold up. Oh, thought I had a docket. Mm. I ain't got a docket. I got a word document. Oh, a word document. Uh. Oh, that shit. <laughs> um, a recorder. Yeah. Okay. Rip John Witherspoon. R.I.P. That sucks, man. Everybody that dies is people I wish I knew. Right. Like, you know, or like, not everybody. Yeah. Like, not even people. Yeah, people I wish I knew. Mm-hmm. Like, people I wish I could, like, refer to for things and, like, ask yeah. him something. It was, it's ha- it started with David Bowie. David Bowie's the first person that made me feel like that. Really? And I was really upset. I think I remember on our, on our previous podcast that we had, he said that. I think so it started with Bowie, and then um, Mac Miller passed. Yeah, what? Hell yeah, yeah. I did say, I said that before. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's not that, yeah, I guess that's just a thing that people do say stuff. Right, yeah. But, oh yeah, yes. Um, yeah, Mac Miller, that nigga sucks. It sucks that he's dead. He seemed to make you pretty chill. <laughs> like, damn, like, mm, I don't want to be rude. <laughs> I was going to say yeah. I, I don't want to hang out with, like, Tyga, but... I was, I mean, damn it, I was, damn it, I was gonna not say, ty- but the point is, I'm not even, the point of what I was gonna not say was like, why, why would I hate on Tiger? He's, he right. didn't do anything. Yeah. That was what I was trying to say, was like, mm-hmm. leave Tiger's name out your mouth, <laughs> and that's what I'm gonna do. But the point is, uh, I would really like to hang out with even Mac though, Even though we just talked about Tiger not too long ago. <laughs> oh yeah, in a bad way too. Not really. Yeah, it wasn't really it was a bad, bad way. way. I don't think it was a bad way. I, it was like he was ruining <laughs> fucking snapbacks for <laughs> for the world. He pretty much ruined. No, snapbacks I don't think he ruined snapbacks. A generation world, of the youth. But, <laughs> but I feel niggas will start wearing snapbacks because they see Tiger wear snapbacks. Is, Do you think that happened? Yeah, and then like, didn't he make a song? It didn't. Some, like, it didn't snapbacks? happen. You know, Big Sean got more people wearing snapbacks than Tiger. Really? I swear. I swear. Because I'm in these streets on. with these people. I'm in these streets, and a lot of people say cool kids, but everybody who doesn't say cool kids says, like, Big Sean, you know, dress is really cool. Hey, will you hand me that delicious San Pellegrino out of that delicious refrigerator? Oh. Can I reach it? It's right there on the oh, bottom. Oh, no, I have to get my black ass up. It's your last one. I want to do this. want white folks water. <laughs> white folks water. <laughs> oh, no, it just makes me shit. It's pretty bad. Oh, oh shit. Bad. It is what it is. Um, oh, but back to John Witherspoon. R.I.P., man. Oh, yeah. That sucks. R.I.P. Uh, white people water is, is uh, <laughs> White Claw, by the way. <laughs> I fucking hate White Claw. White Claw is trash, bro. What? White, white, white Claw is good. Is it just trash, tastes like water. Bro. You're such an a-hole. White it tastes Claw like water. is fucking trash. Come on, wait a minute. What are you talking about? Like, it's not even I'm a talking thing. about White Claw is trash. That's the thing. <clears throat> Great marketing, like the fucking Popeye sandwich and shit, but White Claw's trash. It's not trash. It's trash, bro. Hey, man, we can not go back. Like, we can <laughs> go back and talk about this for another 30 minutes or just not. But it's not trash because it doesn't taste like, like, what's so bad it about like it? It tastes like ashy water. Okay. <laughs> it's ashy water. Ashy, it's like ashy water. <laughs> it tastes like ashy water. It doesn't yeah, like, what bad. does that mean? That's exactly. <laughs> it tastes like chalk water, bro. With, okay. It tastes like if you would put, you know, like those like. If you would put uh, those like. Cans. Donnell Rawlings elbow into the water. <laughs> <laughs> if you would put like those like cigarette like. Chewing gum. This into nigga right water, here bro. is really you are spazzing out, bro. Cause white claw's trash. <laughs> white claw's not white trash. White claw's like, trash. <laughs> white claw's not trash. It's just a drink. I mean, like that's the thing is like alcohol. It tastes harsh, man. What do you think alcohol is like? Sweet, sweet, uh, sweet Caroline. It can be shit. <laughs> no, it's fucking alcohol. It's supposed to be like. I'd rather drink. <laughs> I'd rather drink. Like, nah. I'd rather drink that new Four Loco before I drink. Hey, I'm drinking Four Loco every day. I don't give a fuck. I'll put it with fucking OGZ. I'd rather yeah, drink Mike Tar lemonade than White Claw, bro. 
Uh, Nigga, I'll drink a two eleven before I drink a white claw. But like, what do you? What? Why? <laughs> like, Mike's Heart Lemonade is just sugar. Because just white claw just tastes disgusting. Hey, bro. bro, that's like it. It actually just like and it objectively, you, and it, and it just doesn't. I don't doesn't know if it's objective and it doesn't or subjective. Get you drunk. Yeah, see, that's the point. It does get you drunk. It, I've it, never gotten drunk. Oh, I got, bro. I got. Pff, I'll show you. You want to? You need, you need a tutorial. You need a goddamn. <laughs> You know, like you said, like you need a tutorial. Man, come on, man, that's not fair. I feel White Claw only got big because of like memes. Nah, I was like, I was like, I was thinking like, I was actually feeling the same way about White Claw as I was feeling about the Joker movie mm-hmm. for a while, and then I realized, um, hmm, how do I say this? Then I realized. Oh, and then I tried it. That's what I'm trying to say. Sorry, mm-hmm. I had a, uh, you know, I've, uh, I've been I've been at war since since <laughs> Vietnam. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> uh, fucking no, I tried it, and then I was like, oh, this is just ashy water. <laughs> That's amazing. Like, what is so bad about ashy water? Yeah, I'd love to have and it. And I had the same thing. I was like, okay, I'm see what the whole hype is about. And I was like, oh, this is fucking disgusting. This tastes like ashy water. All right, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it then. What What do you think about the Popeye sandwich then? <clears throat> it, it ain't worth niggas. It's not worth standing in line for, and it's not worth fighting over it. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. Look, I understand it not being. It's not. It's not. I actually completely agree with you. Okay. Mm-hmm. In certain ways, but I don't agree with your attitude towards it. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? What do you mean? Like I agree with that's what I'm saying. I agree with hold on. I'm getting a text. Right. I'm like receiving a text as we speak. As we were talking right now. Um Like I mean it's a good sandwich, but I'm I don't think I'm gonna stand in line for that shit you ever. Okay. Can. Yeah, here we go. No, that's what I'm saying. Oh, so you you stood in line for it once. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm saying. No, 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 no. It's I'm like, like no, no, I, no. I'm not gonna be like, oh, fuck that salad. I'm not gonna eat it. No, I've, I stood in line for it. On uh, actually, I stood in line for it the day it came back. It came back. Yeah. Oh, you didn't get the first no, one. I didn't get. I didn't get the first one. Ah. I know. I know. I got that cut down shit. You know? Ah. Continue. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll go after it. Yeah. But you continue for now. Yeah, but it was good. I, I, I actually I got both. I got the the regular one and the spicy one. I like. Why'd reg- you get? Why I got? I like the regular one better because nigga, I wasn't gonna stand back in the line spicy for this one, shit. The, the regular one was better. Yeah. I would not even know. I never. I would never try it. Really? Why? Yeah, because. I'm a real OG, and I eat that zesty. <laughs> like, what you mean? I, I don't no. go to Louisiana for that plane. I don't go to Louisiana, you know? No, no, no. I, every time I go to Popeye's, I always get spicy chicken. Yeah, that's every, what I'm every, time, every, every yeah. time, every time, every time. But for some reason with the sandwich, the regular was more, like, flavorful Damn. than spicy. See, every time I, I watched it, because I watched YouTube videos first, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, obviously, <laughs> Yeah. Like mukbangs and shit about it, and uh, everybody was saying, yeah, a lot of people were saying the spicy was better. So I just was mm-hmm. like, I'm just gonna go try to get the spicy anyway. Right. I I went and got it the first round. Uh-huh. But the thing is, you're right. I actually, like I said, completely agree with you. But I don't agree with, I didn't agree with your attitude towards it. But now I see. Mm-hmm. I thought your attitude was like, hey, I would never stand in that line. It's like, hey, man. Oh no. You know. We all stand in line sometimes. <laughs> no, I, exactly. no, I don't actually stand in line. Exactly. Only what I did was I like went to the bathroom for a long time and like yeah. made the person stand in line. <laughs> yeah, hold, yeah, hold your spot. Yeah, like the person I was with. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Nah. I'm not going to be like, oh, like I said, I'm not going to be like, oh, fuck that. I'm not waiting in no line for a chicken sandwich. No, it was an experience. But see, when I stood in line... Niggas was cheerful, joyful. Niggas was happy, having conversations with each other and shit like that. I don't niggas like was that. Like, I still don't like that. Niggas wasn't having a fight. I don't like it either bitch. way. It's like, I don't like it either way. It's like, I didn't come here for friends. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come here for friends. Like, why you want to talk to me? What do you, why do I even have to know you? Yeah. But then, back, I mean, back. but then, I mean, I don't want to sound like this guy, but then I did have it in the white folks area, so that's why niggas was 
cheerful. <laughs> it was, was, uh, was, was it was it uh, was it was it blacks in the line? What was it? Uh, black people in the line? No, no, it was just black people in the line. <laughs> even, in the white people, even in the white people area, yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. Oh, that's funny as shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny as shit. <laughs> yeah, but you like, yeah, like I said, like like no one was cutting the line, no one was getting angry with each other and mad at mad at Popeye's employees and shit like that. Like, yeah, but that's only like that's not even yeah that is in the hood, but that that's not even really in the hood. I think that's I feel like not like when I say the country, I mean like in the middle of nowhere. So, yeah. You know, that's why I think that is. Like in places where people are like but, just chilling, they already knew no, each other. No, 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 but <laughs> they, they like knew everybody in the yeah. line. <laughs> but also, I have seen fucking white folks throw hands with, oh, with a sandwich too. So oh yeah, you saw well, you saw the white I've man seen, get stomped I've to the pulp. Like three, three white white. Oh white fuck, white man! Send me more of these videos, <laughs> man. You always fucking can, can find some fucking videos. Like I see. What I do you do? Like search hashtags. Nigga, just just pop up, or do you, pop up on my timeline. That's bro. what I was gonna say. Or you just follow the shit out of some crazy uh, pages. I, I think I just follow shit out of some crazy pages. Do you follow a uh, crud plug? No. K R U D plug. That shit is no. crazy. It shows like crazy cop shootouts and shit, right. and like whatever happens at like you know like yeah. crazy shit. Like you'll be like, man gets head run over by tractor. Pop. Here's some shit. You're like, it's like you gotta click to to view, and you're like, yeah. ah. like all types of crazy yeah. channels. No, I watch like I follow like fucking Grindface. What's Grindface? You follow Grindface? Uh-uh. Grindface is like pretty much like the LA version of fucking uh, World Star. What? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I follow. Uh, wait, what? What is on the grind face? Like fights mostly. It's like fights, like or accidents. They be having a shootout sometimes. What? Shit like that. Yeah. Oh, send me that one. Send yeah. me that one. Um, I also follow um, dancers locker room. You ever follow dancers locker room? No. It's stripper fights. Oh, stripper fights. Stripper I fights love hard. Stripper fights, oh, yeah, bro. stripper <laughs> fights go. Stripper I mean, fights. Awesome. These really. <laughs> I'm like, why would they fight this hard? Like, yes. why are you guys beefing that it's hard? Money. It, it, it's mainly over over money. But what do you mean over money? Like, some girl was stealing the money? If she was Bro. stealing the money, take the money back. Bro. You should be, like, struggling money. You shouldn't be, like, throwing, like... Bro. They seem like they're fighting like they just are from opposing families. So, <laughs> like, I've, I've, so I, I've spent a lot of time in strip clubs. <laughs> I've spent a lot of time in strip clubs. And I've maybe been to strip clubs on, like, slow nights. Where it's just... This is one thing I learned. It's <laughs> perfume means she didn't shower. But, okay. Um, true. That, that, that's true. Too much true. perfume. Yeah. No, but then, like, I'll be talking to strippers, and then, like, they'll just be telling me that, like, sometimes, like, bitch, you be stealing money, or they be but, taking those girls' customers. See, that's that's corny, though. Like, the re- what I'm saying is that's cool to be like, bitch. Like, okay, okay. That's cool to, like, shade somebody and be like, bitch, I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. And, and, and if you steal my money, like, yeah, it's cool for me to, like, forcibly take my money back, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, like, even punch you in the face, yeah. I guess, okay. I don't know. But, okay, but, you know but, it's, like, but it's like... Like, it's these like, girls are fighting, like, I don't like you. Like, I don't like your ways, lady, and I'm going to oh. fucking fight you to a pulp. And, and it. it's like, the, the where's the money? It's like, you guys are just, you're just scrapping with this young lady. You that know? too. I'm, my voice just cracked. <laughs> yeah, no. That's also, that's also, it, it all, you know, sometimes girls don't like gr- other girls, and uh, they fight. Yeah. <laughs> they fight. They just fight? <laughs> they fight. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, stripper fights me, and then just be like the goddamn fucking high school lockers in the background. <laughs> they just be Hell, like, yeah. each other off the lockers. No, these bitches fought in the in this club yesterday. Well, the ones I was watching oh, yesterday, like, they was like, I'll send it to you. Like 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 on stage or like just like in the club itself. Because like, it was booth. on stage in a booth, like in a <laughs> you know like in a booth around the, like it was like a curve a curve booth in a yeah. corner, and these girls. <laughs> One had her in the corner, just in the ground, just, yeah. just going at her. I was like, "Whoa! Yeah. Wait, why doesn't she stop? Like, she's clearly to a pulp at this point. <laughs> you know, like she is beating her hands off." Yeah. See, if, if it would happen on stage, like, like me and my me and my boys, like we be we be the ones to like throw money on stage while they fighting. Like that's like that's what we would do. <laughs> Hell yeah. So then they're gonna fight for who gets that money, <laughs> nigga. It's like somebody dies. Oh, it's like bro. one man leaves with this twelve dollars. Yo, the other you like man that sometimes. dies. Bro, like I, bro, I spend damn near all my army paycheck on industry. <laughs> like, <laughs> like where? 
Uh-huh. Where like, oh, what is that? You right? Yeah. Just like a uh, Amber Alert or some I don't shit. Oh no, some shit like that. <laughs> um, but uh, where? In like what countries? I don't know. This would be Texas. Uh, uh, <laughs> always is, in Texas. This is Texas. Hell yeah. yeah, this is Texas, bro. Does Texas have like uh particularly fine uh, establishments? Very fine establishments. Mm-hmm, okay. Um, let's see. It all depends on like what what you're into. Oh, you know what? If hold on, want, hold yeah. on. I'm sorry I even said that because it's like Ti ruined like talking <laughs> smart. Like Ti ruined like reading. <laughs> you know, like, he, he, like this nigga ruined vocabulary. Yeah, he like ruined <laughs> knowing words. So it's like when you say knowing words, people are just like, ooh, he kind of oh. he's Tiing right now. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> hey man, what I meant to say is the bitches be fine or what? Like they got they got thickness. <laughs> oh, <laughs> them hoes got thickness. To, when you go to Houston, for sure. Yeah, okay. You go to Houston for sure. Uh, San Antonio. They got... Uh, if they you do. love... Like, if you love Latina, San Antonio is, like, one of the best places for strip clubs. Okay. Yeah. Dallas. Dallas is a good man. Oh, San Antonio is where I'd like to live. Like, I feel like you wear a cowboy clothes. Like, <laughs> like right? Like, like yeah. San Antonio. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like what kind of cars do you think they drive? They're like, trucks? Trucks. That's so Trucks. cool. Like, uh, I feel like it's like, uh, like Hank Hill would be from there. <laughs> or like, yo, he hates there. Huh? No, no, no. Hank Hill is from pretty much Dallas. Oh. Arlington, yeah. Texas. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, nah, but San Antonio is where I'd be from because we're like cooler than that. You know, like we're like we're like we wear like darker clothes. You yeah. know, like uh, Hank wears like a blue jeans with like a white shirt, but yeah. we were like. Dark jeans with a white shirt. <laughs> <laughs> or fucking dark jeans with the fucking black with cowboy a, shirt. With the black cowboy shirt, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah. So I meant, that's what I meant. But I meant if we were cooling, it would right. be with the yeah. white shirt. Yeah. <laughs> with the pack of cigarettes in the, <laughs> in the sleeve. In the know? sleeve. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. Uh, American spirits, of course. American spirits. <laughs> hell no. Nah. They smoke Marlboro down there. Oh, hell yeah. You're right. Wait. Do they? I feel like they, I'm seeing an Indian man. <laughs> See, and the only people seeing an Indian man with a pack of blues. I feel the only people who smoke American spirits in Texas are the hipsters in Austin. <laughs> like, Austin's a great place. Austin's a great. I, I love Austin. If I, I really ever am. didn't live in, if you ever didn't live in LA, where would you live? Austin. Yeah, I was gonna say Austin. Yeah, Austin. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Honestly. Yeah. I like Austin. Like, at first, I wanted to... Uh, they have good Whole Foods. <laughs> <laughs> at first, like, I wanted to... But no, uh, but they actually have good all food. Fucking all food. Dude, they have great barbecue. They yeah. have great... All food. Mexican food. They have, all food. Yeah. Everything that touches, I'm in it. Yeah, it's great. They got these burritos where they put fries and fucking mac and cheese bites and bacon and... A bunch all, of weird all, shit all in there. inside of one burrito. A burrito with, like... Carne asada, right, right. and like rice and shit. It's shit is weird. Yeah, that's they're not weird. playing yet. Like this is like the they got some weird places in Austin. You know it's Texas, but yeah. it's like hipster. Yeah. It's like the largest vegan burrito <laughs> in the nation. But what's crazy is like for that to be like the capital of Texas. Also, it's just, just crazy. Is it Austin? Is the capital yeah. of Texas? Yeah. Shit, I don't know. Shit, damn, I'm scared to live in the capital. <laughs> one place I never want to go like I just want to skip over like Arizona I never want to go to Arizona dude Arizona is hot for no fucking reason and boring <laughs> sorry fans in Arizona <laughs> <laughs> they know it too I feel it's like if you don't yeah, I don't think Arizona is boring I think it's very easy to get a delicious drug addiction in Arizona <laughs> yeah <laughs> like a cool drug oh okay um so like I had a buddy who lived in Arizona before, and uh, he moved his family from Arizona to Texas, and he was like, the school thought his daughter was special, because she didn't learn shit in Arizona basically. Aww, <laughs> school system was, was whack, bro. It was fucked up. <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> oh, I don't know what to say about that. I mean, like, yeah, I know. Hey, I know somebody from Arizona. They suck. (laughs) 
Let me think of anybody else I know. Oh, yeah. yeah, and then Arizona didn't want to recognize Martin Luther King Day. Man. <laughs> because of, um, what's, what, what, he, he ran for president, too. He, he ran for president. Who, Martin Obama. Luther King? No, no. The guy who didn't want to acknowledge Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King Day in Arizona. Strom Thurmond? Strom Thurmond. Oh, I, I, uh, I forgot his name. John something. John McCain. Hmm. Yeah. That nigga look like you been in, uh, you been in, uh, you been in Arizona. You red as hell, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That boy whole body red. Yeah. He look like he got down. R.I.P. though. You know, he, he was a POW in Vietnam. What? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, he was a helicopter pilot. Damn. Uh. Pour out an ashy knuckle for John McCain. <laughs> I mean, an ashy water. That's something to say. <laughs> ashy knuckle. <laughs> ashy knuckle. Oh, uh. Pour out an ashy knuckle. <laughs> what is an ashy knuckle? <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, anyway, fucking, oh. um, got any tour dates? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, uh. yeah, man. It's, uh... <laughs> Nah, man. Fuck, man. You fucking... Damn, man. I just ate some fucking hot chicken. Nashville, it was, so... Yeah, it was really hot. Isn't, it was pretty good. Isn't it crazy? That, like, that's like the new wave. There's like, like I said, dude, there's so many like... How many? I've seen at least... I sh- I, I'm not exaggerating this number. I've seen at least 10 different like hot natural chicken places pop up all around LA. Ten? Yeah, ten different like names. Ten different names? Yeah. yeah, I've seen like places chain out a little bit, but ten different names. Yeah. Um, is but Harold's then, hot? Is but, Harold's uh, no. Nashville chicken? No, no, no. That's like Chicago chicken. Just Chicago chicken. Yeah. That's what it's called. Yeah, yeah. Just nigga, that's Chi Town <laughs> chicken. Maybe you want some of that Chi shit? <laughs> or what? Yeah. Whole time. Oh, honestly, bro. I, you ever watch that shot? Chicago people be like. Shout yeah. out corporate. Oh, bro, I love it. <laughs> it's hilarious. All time. Whole time. Shorty had the thickness. I was like. I had this little situation. Oh, it, it <laughs> dumped. Yeah, yeah, dumped. yeah. Fuck with the guy. He's a genius. I love him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Corporate. Yeah, yeah. corporate's hilarious. Bro. I watched all those places. Oh, it was sad. Like, his little. People got shot. Oh, man. Like, this is, oh, his little sister. Yeah, I was like this is Yo, terrible. When she do the voiceover, that should be funny as fuck too, bro. Oh man! Oh, you saw the one for Halloween where he was no. like, he came back from the dead. No, he came back from the dead. He was like, whole his uh, homie would kept being like, hey man, my dead homies. I didn't steal your money, grandma. Like he uh, stole some money yeah. from his grandma. <laughs> then he was lying to the bitch about trying to get some pussy or something. And then he came out. He was like, whole time. I came up out the grade just to tell you, <laughs> quit lying on my name <laughs> all the time. Uh, I'm, you cap, you big cap, man. Mm. I'm about to, you know, and he like told his homie off and then went back to the grade. Mm. And uh, he came out, he had some fresh white Air Forces on. He was dirty as hell, he came out the grade. <laughs> and he had some fresh white Air Forces on. I was like, <laughs> oh, man. That shit was hilarious, man. You should check oh, that out. Oh, man. Speaking of Chicago, man, shout out to Little Reese, bro. Hope he gets better. See, I knew I was like I thought about that earlier, right. and I, I guess it's I guess yeah. Shout out to well, I don't know. I mean, I guess not. Not shout out to him, <laughs> but that just feels too topical. Right. <laughs> it okay. was like I I get like uh, you saw okay, damn to make it just as topical. Um, you saw Blueface right like double down or you saw Whack One Hundred double down talking about Blueface talking about um, we don't know we didn't know Nipsey. So mm-hmm. leave it alone, you know, like yeah. we didn't know him, like type shit. That's kind of oh, how I oh, feel. Well, I didn't, I didn't see, I didn't see the whole video. I just saw like a clip of it when he was like talking, like, um, I, I think he said something about like by by Blueface not saying anything. I was also like showing his like respect or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, um, basically, Nipsey's artist is like, you better shut the fuck up, Blueface, right. you little bitch. And I'm just thinking, like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, thinking, yes, it makes more sense what Blueface did than what mm-hmm. you just did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, just say nothing. Like, I don't know that dude. Yeah. And, like, same as uh, they referred to, like, NBA Young Boys. Yeah, 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 same when, way. When he was like, I can't show, I can't show fake love because I didn't know him. Yeah, which exactly. is Which is respectable. Like, yeah, that's you know? much very respectable. Yeah. 
But uh, <clears throat> that's how I feel about Lil Reese. But he did it right. He was just like, but, you know, send prayers to his family because, you know, he lost a loved one. But uh, you know, can't talk about something he don't know. Like, or, uh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's how I feel about Lil Reese. Right. It's just like, yeah, man. Chill. I mean, it's like, <laughs> or yeah, man. Yeah. That's none of my business. Don't right. get shot, you know. Yeah, but, you know. I guess like you didn't need never have no slappers, <laughs> but it, you know I don't. It's like I said, none of my business, man. Like, right, I got you. Uh, long story short, mm. niggas die every day, b. Damn. Damn. Niggas get shot every day. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> not die. Yeah, that was fucked up too. You're right. Yeah. But it was. It's the yeah, truth, it's b. Shot, it's, it is the truth. Yeah. So I like the coleslaw at the place too. That was pretty dope. It was only on a sandwich though. Uh, coleslaw yeah. on, the, on, the, on the Nashville hot chicken sandwich? Yeah, yeah, it was pretty, pretty good. Coleslaw. <laughs> not the, the Chicago <laughs> chicken not the sandwich? Chicago, <laughs> not the Chicago shot in the throat sandwich. Oh. No, no, I didn't like that, that coleslaw on that. I didn't like that cold burn on that one. That was Damn. disgusting. Hey, uh, I meant to get some candy. Man. <clears throat> Bro, I've been eating these, this candy from, like, my work, like, by my job. What's it called? I forgot the name, but it's Man, like, then why are you even tell why are you even oh, talking hold on, about hold on, candy? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. This man bringing up some candy. Keep talking, keep talking, because yeah. actually I might have some. In oh my, shit. Oh in shit. My bag. Oh shit. You bring up that candy if you can bring it up. <clears throat> this guy's bringing us candy. Oh, like the sour straw, right? Oh hell yeah. I'm into it. I'd love to have some. You ever have this brand? Uh yes. Today. <clears throat> right now, try. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I've had this, man. I yeah. like this a lot. Good, right? It's got a good clean pull on it. Mm-hmm. It's sour as fuck. Not draggy, sour. The um sugar doesn't stay too long. This is fire. Yeah. It doesn't even get stuck in your teeth. Yeah, good shit, right? High quality sour straw. You guys want to hear this ASMR? I was just about to say, let's end this shit. Yeah. And go get some candy. Oh, shit. But we have candy. Yeah, we so, I mean, fuck up. Oh. So, have you tried that McDonald's hack yet? That, that you sent me. <laughs> no. I don't, I'll never <laughs> go to McDonald's, but it makes a lot of sense. Mm hmm. I've been looking up. Oh. Yeah, let's talk about that. I've been looking up a lot of scams lately. <laughs> <laughs> Like, not a lot of scams, like, dark web scams. Mm-hmm. More scams, like, uh, what do you, what is it? <clears throat> what is it called, like, I don't know what to call it, like, I'm gonna say, like, white, white collar, I don't know what to say, like, white, not white collar, but just, like, little, little, uh, what do you call it, like, inconsequential <laughs> no like inconsequential like you know like little uh beat the system type scams mm. not like not like no oh, like, you're gonna get caught up and go down no like I'm, I'm about to scam half half of LA type shit right? yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> more like hey I'm gonna get a free burger somewhere <laughs> yeah. yeah I basically what we were mm. just talking about yeah. just tell the viewers or whoever mm. uh Brian was just referring to uh one more one more than thing Mine was just referring to it. How many is left? Only one more. Oh man, we can split it. Split my shit. Right? You know what I mean? I'm saying. <laughs> I called it. <clears throat> I mean, I would just like to have it. I know you'd like to have it. it. So let's oh, let's split it. Um, what I'm saying is, Brian's referring to McDonald's hack that was on Instagram, where a guy. Where basically the ham, the burger on the hamburger t- costs more than the whole burger, so you order burgers on the app and then delete the ham, the hamburger, the meat off the burger, and then you get like positive money, and then you do like ten burgers, you get like twenty cents or twenty twenty some cents for every burger, and then you can buy a cool burger with this with the money, you know, so you get like ten burgers and then you buy a burger, you know, or you take all the meat off those ten burgers and then you made like two dollars and then you buy like a double cheeseburger or some shit um i haven't tried that but that's the point that's the type of scam that makes the most sense that's the type of scam that you know is uh viable 
type of shit where it's like, even if you get caught, you can be like, I'm just an old lady. <laughs> I'm just an old lady. <laughs> and they'll just be like, all right, go home, mm-hmm. old lady. Yeah, like, what type of shit where it's just like, it'll be a waste of everyone's time if, like, mm-hmm. they, like, do anything about it. <laughs> but you could also do it, like, a million times. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm. I'm trying to think. I mean, like, uh, Yeah, everything I did. I was going to describe like 10 of them, but they were all just shoplifting. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be like... <laughs> <I was> gonna... <laughs> I was going to be like... Uh, so sometimes I ordered two things at the... Uh, or I ordered something at the little meat section of Whole Foods. Like the... Uh, you know, the like chopped meats and shit. Like the yeah. brisket and the bake. They cook bacon and shit and random shit over there. Mm-hmm. I'll order like one piece of bacon from over like at the fancy bacon section yeah. and then I'll take go over to the <laughs> and it'll be like a dollar and I'll go over to the uh, to the uh, <laughs> to the hot bar and just put a bunch of other shit in there and then I'll just go check out and it'll be like a dollar <laughs> and I'll, I'll be like, all right thanks <laughs> so uh, that's like like I said it's just shoplifting yeah. it's not like a that's like <laughs> just pure shoplifting <laughs> 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 But hey man, it's pretty cool, it's fun. Yeah. It's like uh No one ever even cares or thinks about it, you know. I also when I'm in like a a store that's not a department store, but if I like s- never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you know, you gotta pay for those methods now, you know. Right? <laughs> you gotta pay for that. <laughs> you gotta cash you gotta cash app you, you know? <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> but oh yeah, but oh man, but I have you heard about the hundred dollar uh postmates uh scam? No. Or a hundred dollar wing or how you can scam postmates for wings all no. the time or food. I don't know why they okay, I keep saying wings. Mm-hmm. I say wings because that's the way I found it on YouTube. So right. it's not called it's not all about wings. Right. They just did it for wings. What you can do is you can be uh sign up as a driver and sign up as a as a as a you know just download the app yeah. you know and then um then you can order something they're gonna send somebody else to go get it you just pull out your app like you're a driver go get it before them and mm. then call the place and be like i never got my food <laughs> and then, uh and then you don't have to pay for it that's like literally it and they like return your yeah and they like return money. the money yeah, yeah and then you're sitting around with like a bunch of food like whatever food you want and that's like something that people do all the time and then sometimes uh let me see what else that's pretty much it like that's the only good one for that for that situation mm-hmm. i also been looking up what else have i been looking up let's think about the weird world of my youtube oh i've been on um how bad of a company game spot stop is mm. have you heard about that I, yeah i have i haven't seen like the video but like i have heard of oh yeah uh, like apparently they are really bad in a lot of ways and when i look into it i just find out that other companies that are that big are just as bad <laughs> and there is no good like company so make sure you eat at Corny Bowls. Mm-hmm. Or wait, Corn Holy... Corn Holios? Corn Bolios. Corn Bolios. That's what I was trying to say. Nice. That's what I meant to say. It's fire right the same, dude. Yeah, Corn Bolios. That's what I was like. Corn... What did I say? Corny... Corny Bowl? It's something like that. Corny Bowl. Whatever. Like, uh... Oh, that was the er- early name for it. Because mm. it was going to be like Cannibal, but it was mm. Corny Bowl. Mm. And it was going to be a bowl. It was going to be spelled C-O-R-N-I-B-O-L. So now that's stuck in my head. I gotta get that out. It's a uh, cornholio at this point because cornholio, cornbolio. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Cornbolio. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. God damn it! Another <laughs> failed business. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm fucking. Uh, yeah, cornbolio. All right. Point is, um. Yeah, GameStop. What the fuck did they do? Oh, they like uh, they try to scam you out of like not telling you how much you're. Blah, blah, blah. Like, just a whole bunch of different ways. Who yeah. cares? But what I will tell you, the cool ways, is how you can get them. <laughs> you can go to, like, you can download, you can order broken disc from, like, YouTube, or from eBay. Mm-hmm. YouTube. From eBay for, like, uh, nothing. Like, a new game that comes out. Like, yeah. order a broken disc, use the lit disc cleaner, and go sell it for 30 bucks. 
to them. Like, order a broken disc for, like, two bucks. Like, it's already, it's, like, scratched up. Not, yeah, yeah. not snapped, but you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, a yeah. scratched up ass disc. All you gotta do is shine that bitch up, make it look clean. Like, use the same shit that gets scratches out of eyeglasses and mm-hmm. shit. And then, boom, take it right in there. And I, I hear they sell that shit, like, CVS and shit now. It's not, like, a hard, you know, it's not, like, what, a, like, the, um, disc cleaners? Yeah. They like, always sell that shit at CVS. Yeah, but, like, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, take the scratches off and shit. Yeah. Exactly. I think, I think with the... The beginning of CDs and DVDs, they sold this shit out. Oh, <laughs> not the beginning, like seventy five percent through, right? Like not like right there, like oh, we we dropping this new shit. Here's how you clean it. Uh, Probably, yeah. yeah, maybe that makes sense. Mm. Uh, but yeah, the point is, you can just buy sh- uh, disc or take buy them from like Goodwill for like a dollar and just yeah. sell them for ten bucks or whatever. Like, and they basically have to. They really like getting resales like that's something that makes their stocks good or some shit mm. i don't really know the exact you know is, reasons why is what like people buying re like uh use use video games yeah that makes sense yeah it makes sense because like people don't want to buy people would rather like save that 20 bucks and, and, and get the game used and new yeah, yeah. exactly well and then people and, also like buying old games too, so. See, I was gonna uh, mention this. I like oh. to just go into the stores. Oh. Mm-hmm. But, <laughs> but we'll keep that to ourselves. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, they do a whole bunch of bad shit, like, uh, what am I trying to say? They don't have to do anything, so, is what I'm trying to say. Like, or, not they don't have to do anything. You can basically do a lot of things that fuck them over. Mm-hmm. Like uh, like you said, like you can uh, there was you can go to a different you can go to Best Buy, get a brand new game. Let me think, let me think. Not a brand new game. I don't know how to explain it. Watch the fucking video. What's the dude's <laughs> name? The dude's name is Camelot three three one. So I do remember that. Right. Go look up Camelot three three one. That nigga got a lot of funny or not a lot of funny videos. Like a lot of informative videos about uh, what happens in GameStop and how shitty it is. So that's a cool thing. Yeah. That's really informative. It's not even topical, but it's like, you know, kind of yeah. topical. Radio Shack was pretty horrible, too. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was hearing. Like, Radio Shack was bad. I used to um, work Radio Shack. No, what? Yeah, I used to work Radio Shack. What'd they encourage you to do? Like, shoot, tell it, tell it, huh? Pretty much. That's why I'm, I'm kind of glad they went out of business. But, like, <clears throat> Radio Shack made their most money out uh, off of phones and batteries. Mm. So so it's just like you're pretty much one of your main objectives is to like push cell phone on people, right? But I worked at like a very small Radio Shack in a neighborhood where it was everyone's like local Radio Shack. So it's just like I've pretty much either sold these people phones already or they already have phones with a different provider. Mm-hmm. And then like our job is like oh well ha- have them add like another line or shit like this. And I'm like this nigga's single like what the fuck he needs another line on his cell phone for? Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. yeah, like like they honestly like pretty much made no money off of like selling like TVs and video games, just like that. They made no money. What do you mean? Basically, like they were like they were such good deals. No, it was just like, like that, like those items were pretty much just to get people in the store. Your main objective is to sell cell phones. It's not a good business batteries. model. Hey, it's not a good business model. Hey, people, how much, how much people were dropping money off on these phones and shit? Yeah, yeah but why would you not just buy your phone from your provider? Like, exactly. you'd have to, you, like, exactly. so it's, it's not a good business Why do you think they went out of business? <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's it's not not good they went out of business, business bro. Hey, man. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Yeah. Randy and Crackhead to come over here to buy some, uh, you know, crack utensils. <laughs> it's like, bro, <laughs> he's going to just get that from the same guy who gives him the crack, bro, or from, like, a mm. pen. And then, <laughs> shit. and then also, fuck Radio Shock. These motherfuckers, my fucking manager accused me of stealing shit that I didn't steal. Oh, that's what he said, too. Okay, that's what uh, GameStop does a lot, is they they wait for you to, like, if you start making too much money, they'll start accusing you of stealing so they could just fire you for nothing. Like, oh. then they don't, they don't have, they don't know how to check the cameras. Ooh. So they're just stupid. Oh, yeah. They, my fucking ring check had no cameras in it. Yeah, they just, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's just like, yeah. Like, it was, it was weird. Like, like we would have, like, 
Yeah. Fake, we would have like fake cameras up, but them bitches weren't hooked up to anything. <laughs> yeah, it was like this is like this dude was like basically if you got if you started making like seventeen or sixteen dollars or some shit, then you were gonna then they would just start coming to the spot and like just watching and being like, hey, you didn't put this shit up, and that's actually that's you might as well just quit your job because you if you can't keep this store like this, you might as well you're, we're gonna get out of here. Wait. They make commission off off, off videos they sell or like no, they... it was like uh, it was like they would like have to have ex- uh, what is it called like displays certain ways and shit, and they would come in and be like, hey, you know your displays are a little too close to this. No, wall. no, 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 stuff like that. What I'm asking is that like, what do you mean if they're making too much money? If like the store itself is making too much money, or... no, um. As a man, like, are they getting commissioned off? Of, oh like, no, video no, game that no, they... no! They're not. They don't get. I don't think that they got commission. Yeah. I think they just made hourly. But right. um, but they got. They had like mad. What's called something that was called like all around the world or some shit. But the point is like they had to make a certain amount of sales every mm-hmm. month or week. Okay, they had like a quota, but if yeah. they go over that quota, that's when they're old. no. If they only under. You know oh, what I'm saying? Under the quota. Yeah, it was okay. like he did, the way he described it was like you have to make this much, and if you're not, you know, selling that much, then okay. people are gonna, you know, then they'll be like, "What the hell?" You know, type right, thing. Yeah, yeah. How come your store isn't doing? Yeah, like well, should well. we just shut this one down? To, you know, or whatever. Like they yeah. were basically very rude, crude to them. Right. Yeah. But then also, it was like niggas just buy the shelf off of Amazon now. <laughs> buy what? I said, I said, nigga, just buy everything for Amazon now. But yeah, well, mm, okay. I'm so I would, I was going to GameStop until I found out that they don't hire. They have less than one percent black uh, <laughs> people fucking with their or in the whole company. Okay. Like they hate black people basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like as a company, they're just like no black people, please at all, at all, please. And I'm like, <laughs> at all, like you yeah. just who, no matter who, I hate when you was, know. Was Papa John's? <laughs> yeah, basically, Papa John is runs owns game. GameStop. <laughs> Maybe he does. Oh, oh, Maybe we should look that up. It's not that far fetched, buddy. <laughs> it is. Oh man. Yeah, man. Like I said, I don't know. Fuck it. Let's get out of here. Fuck this. Yeah. Smoke some uh, weeds and shit. Um. Uh, that's been it, man. Oh yeah, I was gonna tell you. Uh, life's hard. Uh, don't forget. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> life's hard, but. In the end, doesn't really matter. I gone come so far to hold it on. Isn't to lose it all? To lose it all. I that. Yeah, I come so far. You're right. To lose it all. <laughs> but in the end, doesn't really matter. <laughs> so with that being said, it's another episode of Cute Dog Locked in Eye. Hi, Car. Uh, thanks for listening. I love you. Peace. Are you flexing? flexing? Clearly. Yeah. Clearly. Hey, baby, you can roll, whole body swole, roll body, body, roll, yeah. body, body, yeah. roll. Yeah. Me and baby chillin' and you know we smoking dope. Smoking My dope. girl smell like soap, yeah. we gon' smoke yeah. a poke. Yeah. I'm on Jameson and Coke, Clearly. and I'm on a boat. Clearly. Everything a quote, heard it all before. Yeah. Did we just become best friends? Probably no. I heard it was chilly, so then I got a bowl. I've been doing this since three years after 86. Living like a risk, burning on a wick. I don't got a dog, but I'm John Wick. Crazy about my shit. I've been doing this since back when the cheese grits was the only thing to fix. So I ate them cheese grits. I've been doing this since I used to steal porn, but my brother called them flicks. So a nigga watching. Flicks. Yeah. I've been doing this, so please don't say shit about who did what because I did this. Uh, I've been doing this since three years after '86, living like a risk, burning on a wick. Clear. I don't got a dog, but I'm John Wick. 
crazy about my shit. Crazy about my shit. Well, I've been doing this since back when the cheese grits was the only thing to fix. So I ate them cheese grits. Yeah. I've been doing this since I used to steal porn, but my brother called them flicks. So yeah. a nigga watching flicks. Yeah. I've been doing this, so please don't say shit about who did what because I did this. Coffee ice cream. Good weed on yeah. the beach. Yeah. But the beach is actually an arcade. Fuck niggas get played. Yeah. All real people get laid. Everybody else shade. Clearly. Hey, baby, you can roll, whole body swole, roll body, body, roll, body, body, roll. Me and baby chillin' and you know we smokin' dope, my girl smell like soap, we gon' smoke and poke. I'm on Jameson and Coke, and I'm on a boat, everything a quote, heard it all before. Did we just become best friends? Probably no, I heard it was chilly, so then I got a bowl.